Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I obviously am no longer bedridden, so... Yay! Uh, <laughs> we do the update together. <laughs> so, uh, we... <laughs> Isn't it so much better with him? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> um, so we wanted to just give you another update. The last two weeks were really just full of sickness. Like, I gave the update and then came back to caring for people for like at least one solid week like everyone was still sick and then David kept being sick and had his J-term which so, was yeah. crazy. J-term basically they take all the lectures for a semester and squeeze them into five days so you have 40 hours and you get all your lectures done in 40 hours and then uh, follow-up reading and books and papers are all uh, through the next couple months of the holidays so just recovering uh, you know <laughs> spent a couple days throwing up and then <laughs> uh, went to class for four or five days, but uh, yeah. God gave me the strength, got through it. He would come home and just be like so exhausted on top of being sick, having so much like lectures and like he would just come home and fall asleep. <laughs> so yeah, that was our last two weeks really, but it was really like just a breath of fresh air because on Sunday... The Behars came to our house! Yeah! Uh, it's just really fun to spend time with old friends and, you know, that we love so much and reconnect. Yes, and I'm so glad that none of us are sick while they're here. Yes. That's like just, I would much rather be like terribly sick for two weeks and then be recovering just in time for friends to come. So that's a huge, like, answer to prayer. We're all better and able to enjoy our time with them, which you'll see next vlog. We're recording it now because we're doing life now, but... Yeah. yeah. I don't know, any prayer requests for this next two weeks? Yeah, I mean, for the kids, just continuing um, to feel at home here. Um, I think especially over the holidays, it's really hard for them not to be near family. Um, they've been thinking a lot, Mary Jane especially, has been thinking a lot about her cousins and uh, grandparents that, you know, she's just used to being around, especially this time of year, so. Yeah, so for us, I would love prayer for uh, a neighborhood outreach we're wanting to do next week. We're inviting over some kids who have connected with our kids, um, but we're just really praying that they'll show up. We're praying that they'll mm. come and feel welcomed. We're just going to have some pizza and a little movie night with them. So we've already invited them. We sent out the invitations, but we haven't heard back from anyone yet. And um, some of the families come from a little complicated background. So just wanting to have wisdom and like, I don't want to push and make them feel uncomfortable. But I also <clears throat> but I also would love this to be a time when we can connect with them. It's like a great excuse kind of. It's the holidays, have them over and watch a little elf or something like that. And just that we would continue to earn their trust to be able to just love on them and um, preach the gospel to them and yeah. show them God's love. So I would love prayer for that and for our neighborhood. So, yeah. Thanks to everybody who's uh, just been praying for us, encouraging us, and... Uh, and sending us warm clothes! Yes! Fuzzy I'm slippers. So I can't even tell jackets. you like, how <laughs> much that means to us. Every piece of clothing that we've been given has been put to use <laughs> and we are so thankful for it here so incredibly thankful so thank you for our friends here in kentucky that have helped with that our people in miami uh we love you guys and uh we'll talk to you again soon bye bye wait <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> I first wanted to say hello to Sebastian. Yay! He's at our house. And Chloe. <laughs> yeah. And um, we just found out and decided February 10th, just me, so I know everybody's disappointed because it's not Melinda, but <laughs> I'm going to fly down to Miami for a long weekend, fly in Friday, and I'll be there for Sunday, February 10th, and then fly out on Monday. So that's a huge answer to the prayer because, you know, we miss home. And um, so I'm going to leave the family behind so Melinda will <laughs> deal with all the kids. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, Samantha Corliza is going to come up and hang out with Melinda and the Yay! kids while I go to Palm Vista. So I'll see you guys on February 10th. I'll be in Miami. Oh, there's so good. Oh, Look, Alicia. Outside. Oh my goodness, they're getting bigger.
This is extremely important as we begin the study of critical issues within the Torah. Why? Because, as Walter Kaiser states, the great divide in biblical studies is not over our different systems of interpretation, but whether one believes that God is the ultimate author of Scripture. Two scrolls from the book of Isaiah found. The one is called the Great Isaiah Scroll. It's the entirety of the book of Isaiah in the Masoretic tradition. So the Masoretic tradition is start to 100 years after that. This is sort of a proto-Masoretic tradition. Joey, it's snowing outside and I'm late for class. But now that I have a Keurig, I can still have coffee! Yay! Which I'm going to need for eight hours of class, and I'm going to need to make it to my car through the snow. <laughs> I love you, Joey. Thank you. So it's Wednesday, and I um, picked up a friend's kids, and we headed to the museum. But this is something that I've never seen before. Hang them up coat room. I'm very thankful for it today because it is snowing outside, and this is, <laughs> this is the coat room. Everyone just leaves their coat. This one's mine. The Miami girl in me is terrified. Like, why wouldn't someone come in here and just steal all of the coats? That's what I expect to happen. Oh, hello, guys! But everyone else is doing it, so <laughs> I can't go around the whole museum carrying like this huge, epic coat. And obviously, it's not freezing in the museum. So here, that's a little something new that I'm getting used to. But I'm here with six kids. Six! Six kids! And we're gonna have a blast! Anybody need help? Okay. Good job, baby girl. And I guess we'll just trust that they'll be here when we get back. <laughs> What are you playing with? Snow! Is that snow? Yeah. Pie. Pie? What are you playing with, Beeves? A cup. A cup? Okay, fill it up. So, of course, I'll add this on. And usually, if you make something like this, Guys, who is it? And, and who? And Mr. Behar. Oh my goodness. What have you got there, Oli? 